If you're into cruise ships, cruising, or anything maritime, I'm going to tell you about an event that you should plan to build into your wish list and make sure you do as part of your cruising experience. Hi, I'm Gary Bembridge of Tips for Travelers. I'm going to talk about Cruise Days Hamburg and show you why and tell you why you should try and either plan to go on a cruise that actually incorporates Cruise Days Hamburg into the actual cruise or alternatively you should visit Hamburg during the weekend when Cruise Days is on. So what exactly is Cruise Days? Cruise Days is a three days weekend event celebrating everything cruising. It happens every two years in the second week of September. The big highlight of the actual event culminates in a massive six ship parade out of Hamburg down the river Elbe. There are six cruise ships. That's the maximum amount that the Port of Hamburg will allow. And each cruise ship has four smaller ships. So there's 24 support ships, along with an incredible fireworks display watched by up to 200,000 people. It's an incredible atmosphere. It's incredibly emotional. Whether you're on the ship or you're actually on the bank watching this magnificent parade, this is a absolutely magnificent cruise spectacular. It's unique, it's impressive, it's dramatic. However, Cruise Days has a few other things going for it as well. Now, an absolute must-do thing is Blue Port Hamburg, a 10-day event which is created by a local Hamburg artist called Michael Batts, and he's been doing it for many years now, and he has a real vision and passion for it. He originally created it for the football Euro Cup. What happens all down the River Elba and through the harbour is blue lights are placed on everything from buildings, ships, cranes, all sorts of structures down the river. And as you can see on this video where we actually went on a boat trip down the river, it's a magnificent event. Again, lots of people come out, they fill the bars, they watch the ships sailing up and down looking at the blue lights and is a really, really fantastic event. The actual Blue Harbour lasts for 10 days, but the real heart of it happens over cruise days. Now, if you're in Hamburg, for cruise days. There's many more other cruise things that you can do. There's lots of concerts, there's lots of events, and there's a series of things which are called islands, and they're focused on each of the cruise lines taking part. And the cruise lines will have all sorts of displays. And so for example, Aida had actually replicated what a cabin looks like. Other places gave away free balloons, raffles. There's beer stands, drink stands, sweet stands, sausage stands. There's a real carnival atmosphere all along the river. You can also go and visit the Maritime Museum. This is a massive big building. Uh, I think altogether there's 10 floors, but nine floors are actual exhibition areas with all sorts of incredible displays. Now on the top floor, there's this monstrous big collection of miniature, models of ships. It really is quite remarkable. But as you work your way down, you pass through other floors which are dedicated to things like maritime art, where you see a, a huge collection of beautiful maritime paintings and pictures. There's another level which is dedicated to warfare at sea, where you'll see lots of you know weapons, you'll understand the various uniforms, the various structures that existed, the ships, and find out much more about warfare at sea. There's also a whole section on submarines where again you'll learn about the history of submarines, U-boats, and the different models and different types of submarines that exist. There's also another area which is dedicated to safety at sea. There's another section which is all around the different uniforms and traditions and medals. There's phenomenal models all around the museum, some hanging from the ceiling, like this dramatic one up against a background of a rough sea. As you work your way through the various nine floors of exhibitions, you will keep coming across artwork, models, weapons, paintings. So definitely if you're visiting Hamburg for cruise days, I would strongly keep with the maritime theme and go to the maritime museum. The collection is housed in the Kaiserspeck B. It's a beautiful and stunning waterfront warehouse. Another very important structure on the River Elbe, which is definitely worth going to, is the Elbe Filomani Concert Hall. This is a special structure which was built at the creation of the new Hafen City, which is a big urban development, which is opening up the whole harbour area to all sorts of very interesting buildings and living spaces and shops and places like Elbe Philomani Concert Hall, which is a massive big concert hall. It's really quite magnificent and it's become part of the whole maritime story of Hamburg, with a low base representing the tradition of the old brick warehouses, and the top this beautiful wavy structure representing the waves and the sea. So there you are, that's a little bit about Cruise Days. It happens every two years on the second weekend of September. It's a phenomenal event, 
over 500,000 people visit during the course of those three days with up to 200,000 watching that very important procession which happens on the Saturday evening at quarter past nine as those six cruise ships sail out. Strongly recommend go on a cruise which either embarks during cruise days or includes cruise days as part of the trip or of course you can just come on a weekend visit and you can basically spend a couple of days wallowing in great maritime adventures and cruising and have a great carnival time. Hope you found that helpful. If you did, I'd love it if you liked the video and please subscribe to Tips for Travelers and get more travel inspiration, advice and tips.